Welcome. If you've made it to the end of this video, I want to let you know that on this channel we get into all things new and beauty. This is the Outre Sleek Lay Lace Front Part Wig. This one is in the style Jahari. This one is in the shade 3DRFF Amber Blonde. This is actually the color that is on the stock card. I really like the way this color looked on the model on here and I wanted to try it. And I actually really, really like it. Like, I just FaceTimed my sister. She told me I'm giving like Beyonce, like me, myself, and I video vibes and I feel like if I'm not dating myself, I feel like that is the ultimate compliment. Like anytime anybody tells you that you look like you're giving Beyonce vibes, it's a compliment. I want to go ahead and jump into some pros and some cons. We're starting off with the cons. I want to show you all this wig. So basically this is how long it comes. I would say that this is about, I don't know, like, I want to say this is like anywhere between 24. It's a long unit, it is, but it's not like super long. But it definitely does come down to my back, even on the stock card. It is demonstrated that it comes down to the model's back, like slightly above her butt. So with that said, like the ends of the, the wig in terms of its texture, it feels like it's already been gently worn. And I kind of have this con with longer wigs. It seems that the longer the synthetic unit, the more like pre-brushed pre it looks. Like it looks like you've had it for a while and it's lost its definition and curls towards the end and it feels that way. It doesn't feel, you know, as silky as the rest of the hair or as yakky as the rest of the hair. Like it just feels like it's already been worn. Like somebody has like tried to brush it several times and now it's looking frizzy and so forth. And I'm like, obviously nobody has worn this wig before because you've, nobody except me and not until now because you all saw me cut off the lace in the video. But it's just giving uh, refurbished. I don't know why, but it does. And I feel like that's what I didn't like, but I've noticed that about a few of the longer units that I've reviewed on my channel that comes pre-curled, that is. Um, and so I, I don't like that. I don't know. And, it, and it's all been outre wigs, so. Let's let's work on that. Honestly, I'm gonna keep the cons short because that's really all that I have for cons. I feel like 
we can go straight into pros because there's so much I have to say about that. I will say the first pro is this color. Okay, so this is like I said, the color that is demonstrated right here on the side card. I liked how it looked on the model and I wanted to try it in person. And I love that what, you know, these synthetic wig brands do is they definitely feature like, you know, more darker models on the brown spectrum. And I feel like it helps to like give people like myself a truer vision of what it's gonna look like. I have to say, shout out to my inspiration for this was Disastrous Beauty. I think she tried this unit on as well, and she's a lighter skin complexion individual, and it looks good on her as well. So if you wanna check out her review too, you get kind of the best of both worlds if you are in between those two colors. Love the color on this unit, and I think I like how it's like highlighted throughout. You know, you have like, you know, the dark root, which is what, which is what, the DR stands for in the DR style of this wig. It looks very realistic. And like I said, I just like the way it's colored like throughout the wig, like it looks like, you know, a professional colorist did this or somebody that's like, you know, blessed with the, the but somebody with less hands, like an arrogant Tay or like a Jonathan, like all people like that. It looks like somebody like that touched this kind of wig. And also it's also kind of giving me like anchor woman. Like I'm a news reporter and breaking news. Like it's kind of giving that. But I like it, nonetheless. I also like this part. So this wig comes with a deep C part and I love how like deep it goes all the way around and it helps to just make the wig look super duper realistic. Obviously no plucking was required with this wig. I don't even think you need to pluck this wig, but if you wanted to, to make the hairline look a little bit more realistic, you could have. It looks realistic on its own. Sometimes you don't need to do excessive plucking on these units and they still look realistic. So obviously it's the part, it's the part for me. The part is very deep. And once I put in my lace tint, I really didn't even need to put much put much makeup inside the part, but I decided to you know, just give it that extra layer of uh, camouflage, if you will. And girl, she looks good. Like it's 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 just very realistic. Like even on the model, it's giving scalp. So even here and right now, it's giving scalp. I love the pre-cut layers on the wig. You have like your bang. In order for hair to look good in general, you have to frame your face. And so I like that this wig frames the face. Like, and I didn't have to do it because I struggle with that. Honestly, basically, like this is an amazing wig for an amazing price. And it's just, it's that girl. Like, this is the type of wig though that I feel like you definitely have to wear it with like some neutral outfit. Like this this particular color, like it looks good because it's a neutral top. I think this wig is also, I wanna say this wig also uh, can be considered a beginner's friendly wig because not much is really required. It's already pre-styled and it doesn't take much. It was really easy to install um, because you know, not there was not much lace on the wig and sometimes I don't like that. But I, I'm trying a new thing and a new way to install my wig, so I'm not gonna complain about the lack of lace. But anyways, I feel like this is a beginner's friendly wig. So now let's get into the stock card and some of the things that it claims. The key features mentioned in the stock card is that it has a wider hand-tied lace part. I'm gonna be honest, every stock card that I read says that and I don't even know what that means. Um, it, like I mentioned, it has a deep C-shaped side parting, which is what I demonstrated. And you know, like I said, it helps the wig to look super realistic. It has the extra hand tied lace edges. It's supposed to, it was intended to have like the humpless laid finish to it. And I would say now, even though it says that it had the humpless laid finish to it, so it just, it was trying to get rid of like that wigginess that some units like this gives off. Um, it's taking out some of that volume, but I actually had to go in and do just a little bit of extra work. Originally, I was just using my wax stick and my hot comb to just get rid of some of the flyaways I had some flyaways and I was able to contain that with my wax stick and my hot comb. But also, once I put the hot comb on it, it did help to, to lay much, much more flatter. I feel like I was giving a little bit of Dolly Parton, and don't get me wrong, I love Dolly Parton, and I, she's a style icon, but I even wanna give Dolly Parton with this kind of wig. The stock card is intended to, it says, it says lays flatter, lays better, so it's intended to like, so it's intended to lay flat, but you definitely have to put in just a little bit more extra work with your hot comb or a curling wand and a wax stick to get it just to lay just a little bit more flatter or to your liking. Um, it said it had the pre-plucked hairline. So like, yeah, y'all, it already, it already looks super natural. It already looks natural. And has the natural baby hairs and it's heat friendly. I gotta tell you, even though it comes with baby hairs, they were very, very thin. So, you know, I cut a little bit more on the side and, you know, I just wanted it to 
And I don't know, I feel like they pop a little bit more, but they were very thin. And so typically, you know, I lose baby hairs. I don't get, I don't, if they're not like super explicit, I don't make a conscious effort to keep the babies, the baby hairs that come already pre, pre attached to the wig. Then I'm not going to, I'm just not going to use them because I'm, I just lose them. Like after, you know, applying the wig and combing it and all that stuff, I don't know where these baby hairs are. So I have to cut new ones. And this was the case with this wig. I didn't see them. Um, they're very faint and yeah it is what it is the last claim is that it was heat friendly and i can attest to that i put my hot comb and had a, a low setting on my hot comb because you know this is still a synthetic wig i don't want it to burn i don't want to damage the synthetic hair fibers which is this wig from wig types and to be to be transparent i do not remember how much i paid for this wig because i bought it a few weeks ago I bought this wig a few weeks ago so i don't remember the price but i am going to have this wig and where you can find it in this color and other available colors below i feel like i i feel like i probably paid in between like the 37 to 42 range for this unit and that should be plus you know shipping and any taxes that these sites may charge so um with that that is the end of this review i leave with you my final thoughts that i do like this wig i would recommend it thank you all so much for watching this video be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below some other wigs you want to see me try as well as keep it with your girl on social follow me on tiktok and instagram it will be linked above thank you all again i love you stay beautiful and stay safe